A tectonic shift is underway in the North American economy. It's moving global supply chains from Asia back to this region. Since the mid-1990s, the northern Mexican city of Monterrey has been an industrial powerhouse. U.S. companies have long dominated investments here. Now, Chinese companies are showing their robust manufacturing presence. The latest example of Chinese business expansion in Mexico is the 850-hectare Hafusan Industrial Park. The fast-paced installation of Chinese factories is part of a massive transition in the global economy where these companies are moving production here to the northern Mexican state of Nueva Leon and bringing their products closer to the world's largest market, the United States. Located 45 kilometers north of Monterrey and close to the U.S.-Mexico border, Hafusan Industrial Park will house dozens of Chinese companies, including Kuka Home, which makes home furniture, and Hisense, a major Chinese-owned producer of home appliances and electronics. The main advantage of manufacturing in this part of Mexico is a huge decrease in delivery times. It used to take 10 weeks or more to ship from China. Now, companies can deliver products from here in four weeks or less. It's a strategic advantage. And that's drawing foreign investors to the state of Nuevo León. Since October 2021, Mexico's economy ministry says some 7 billion U.S. dollars have poured into the state. It's become Mexico's second most important destination for foreign investment after Mexico City. Simon Huang is a Chinese executive with vast experience in building a successful manufacturing base here. He says the shift from China to Mexico will be long-lasting. I think it's forever because uh, the world is always changed. But if you want to avoid the supply chain risk, I think more and more Chinese companies, they want to go outside. And uh, they, they want to be international. They want to close to the market. By producing products in Mexico and including a larger percentage of materials from North America, Chinese companies can use the Made in Mexico label. And that allows them to ship their products into the United States with no tariffs, saving millions of dollars per month. Professor Jose Cornejo heads the Department of Economics at the University of Monterrey. He says it's not surprising that Chinese companies are coming to Mexico, and he adds that the advantage they will get here will come with a learning curve. I think more Chinese companies will come in the future, but we must remember one crucial point. In the end, China and Mexico are very different geographically, and our cultures also very different. So it's a matter of getting to know each other and learning. The Nuevo León state government is showing its willingness by building wider highways to facilitate shipping. Meantime, Chinese companies are increasing their presence in the rest of Latin America, especially in Argentina, Brazil, Chile and Peru, with financial loans, infrastructure projects and direct foreign investment. Chinese investors say they will continue seeking locations in Mexico to build more industrial parks and factories they point to this growing industrial city as an example of what the future holds for investors here. Frank Contreras, CGTN, Monterrey, Mexico.